What is up, YouTube? The Brita Heart here. Welcome to episode number nine of our manager mode series with Chelsea. Today we got two games: one in the BPL against Norwich, one in the Champions League against Benfica. That game is a absolute must-win. That game, if we lose, it could actually drop us out of the zone where we advance to the knockout stages. Here, our, our scout comes back with a 94 potential goalkeeper named Kieran Ward. Here you see Ba. He just wants to play more. I've really been impressed with Ba. Remember Lucas Pizarone, the guy who scored the 90th minute goal against us uh, in the draw to Malaga in the Champions League last episode? Turns out, he actually plays for Chelsea. He's just on loan at Malaga, so that kind of sucks. About to hop into our first game of the episode here. Chelsea versus Norwich. Uh, I will make a quick side note that this game was on professional uh, due to two reasons. Uh, one, that it just seemed more realistic. Like, a more, I would get a more realistic scoreline if the game was on professional than if it was on world class. If it was on world class, probably be like 1 0 or 2 1, or maybe even 1 all or 2 all or something like that. But on a professional, I, feel, I felt like I could get a more realistic scoreline and having it still be somewhat of a challenge. So this game, and also I just forgot to change it. That other reason just came out of my butt. <laughs> but uh, here we can see uh, we're actually in fifth in the league right now. So this game also is kind of a must win. It's still early on in the season, but a good cut in there by Oscar. And he's going to put that in every single time you give him that shot. 16 minutes in, and it's already 1-0. A good left-footed shot by Oscar. I, that might be his weak foot. I don't know. They got a chance to equalize it here. Holt sends it through off the post and cleared out by Shaloba. That was a great clearance. Oscar come down again. Fake shots in. Hits it just wide to the left. A great shot there by Oscar. But I have no fear. Edinson Cavani is here, and he makes it 2-0 in the 31st minute. A great goal by Cavani. He's got seven goals in all competitions now. Just outstanding this year. But again, right after we score Norwich with a chance, through... Two. I believe that was Holt. Beat Shaq, but just wide. And that would bring us to halftime. Uh, aside from the two goals, nothing really happens. I mean, that's what kind of happens in a lot of these games. It's where I score a couple goals, and then it's just basically midfield play. But here, a good cross, and it's cleared right into Johnson. Thank God he put that one wide. They get another chance here. Blocked, and they're right back in the game. Hulohan, a good goal from him. Lucky deflection off the foot of David Luiz, but he did not disappoint. And look at that save by Rudy. That is next level stuff right there. We get another shot, and Rudy was just insane this game. Drogba with a shot, and another save by Rudy. Cavani had that one blocked, but look at this. David Luiz, oh my gosh, what an absolute monstrosity of a strike by David Luiz. I, I can't believe that he actually scored that. That was just an amazing shot by the center back. And that would bring us to the full-time whistle. 3-1 was the final. Cavani, Oscar, and David Luiz scoring in this game for us. Next, we have some international friendlies with the United States that I just decided to simulate because they're friendlies and they don't really mean anything. Uh, I will play the World Cup qualifiers and the World Cup games and all that stuff. But this is against the Ivory Coast. I don't think Drog... Yeah, Drog was on the bench for this game. Oh, he actually didn't even get to play. So, that kind of sucked. Ori Romeo wants more monies. Uh, he contacted me and he was like, Oh, I want more money. And they put him on the transfer list until I could uh, sort out a deal with him. South Korea versus the United States. Uh, I just, again, I just simulated it. 3-0 to us. Not a disappointing result. I would have liked to win the op the debut, but I could not. So we offer him twenty million for three years. Hopefully, he will accept that. Nope, he did not accept that. Uh, right off the bat, we get a reply saying, "Nope, I want to stay longer." Ramirez wants to play in place of Shaloba on the next match. I was thinking about making this change anyways, because uh, Ramirez is very very quick and he could get back on defense very quickly as well as being up with the attacking players. Seems like he would really move well with the team. Now this is it, the moment of truth. The must-win Champions League game against Benfica. This is on World Class, by the way. Uh, this was a very, very tight game. Like My heart was pounding throughout the whole game because I knew if I lost this game, 
I would be in a bad position for the Champions League. I'd probably be out of the promotion zone. But yeah, about to see the table pop up here. And you can see us and Benfica are both 1-2 and two with 4 points each. We're just up on goal differential. So it'll be important to score quite a few goals in this game. And we get a chance to get one here. Oscar has it tackled off him, has it tackled off him again. And you know it's a tight game when I'm showing stuff like that for a highlight. Beautiful through ball there. Put into Drogba. What a save by Artuma Rice. He also was able to set the rebound. Not really much effort in on that. Here we get a corner. And the ref decides to give a penalty. What for? Here it is again. Yeah, kind of weak, but I'll take it. Ramirez up to take it. Will he go left or right? Will he go low or high? On his run up now, Ramirez puts it in the back of the net. 1-0. A crucial goal. That's what we had to do. We had to go out there and get the first goal. Yeah, it was kind of a weak call on the penalty, but we took it. And, guys, that would bring us to halftime eventually. Um, A pretty boring first half, but since I got that goal, that's what I needed. And I'm going to want a boring second half as well. I'm not going to want very many chances. I'm, I'm going to want to play possession. I think I went defensive right off the bat in the second half. You see, I put Lukaku on for Drogba. Just to give Drogba a little bit of a rest, but they get a chance here. Finesses it off the crossbar. Cardozo shoots it in a great save by Czech. Czech was just on his game today. And another strike. That one missed. I think Czech would have stopped it anyways. But thank God that one missed. We have a chance to seal the game. Oscar shoots it. And Artur Ice just kept Benfica in the game. But it would not matter because we do take the three points from this game. A must win game. And we come up with a result. We did play great possession in this game. I didn't show all of it because most of it was just me passing around the box, passing in the midfield. But we did play awesome possession in this game. League table showing up now. We are actually in second, just two points behind Manchester City. So that is lovely jubbly. The Champions League now showing up. And that, that will bring the end of the episode. You can see Dortmund actually did drop and feek out. So if we would have lost that game, that would have been a disaster. But that will be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, Click the thumbs up button if you want to see more more manager mode, road to division one, or career mode of Hesky. Click that subscribe button down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and adios.